G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, it's a mixed, it's a mixed day today for me, that's for sure. Uh, a very, very sad day in some ways uh, and good in the others. So let's start with the good at least. So the good is the market cap is rising. So again, we just continue to go up. We're at about 360 something billion just the other day and now we're 380 billion uh, and it just continues to go up. You know, we have days where there's pullbacks, obviously, you know, people sell and get some money back and they that may happen uh, in the next few hours or tomorrow. It does quite often happen on a weekend, but you know, over the longer period, it just continues to go up and up and up. It wasn't that long ago that we were down around the 260, 250 billion dollar mark. So, you know, only in a couple of weeks we've added a couple of hundred billion dollars. So that's the good news. And Bitcoin, oh, getting close to testing that twelve thousand dollar mark. But, you know, we've had a lot of trouble breaking that. So we'll have to see whether this is going to be uh, the day that it does it or not. But Ethereum, uh, again, mixed feelings, real mixed feelings awesome that it just continues to go up the price goes up that is awesome but the gas fees ethereum unfortunately is now i can't i basically can't use it it cost me too much money to use it uh and particularly uh synthetics network so we can go over and have a look so at ethereum so again it just continues to go up uh, ethereum's going on an absolute you know rip rip tear at the moment you know we go to the charts and just have a look at that stuff you know, and that's just in 24 hours it's done that. You know, it's up 83% in 30 days and then over the year it's up 135%. So that's the good news about Ethereum uh, is the price is going up. And likewise, we can come over to Synthetics Network and same thing, the price just continues to go up. It's 20% in the last 24 hours. And, you know, over the year it's gone up 2,000%. So, you know, the good news is that you know, synthetics is going up, the price of it is going up, and likewise with the Ethereum, the price is going up. But the sad news is, I can't use either of them. They just cost too much. I got on to Synthetics Network today and I wanted to uh, claim my rewards. It was going to cost me $48.38, I think, to claim my rewards uh, on Synthetics Minter. The rewards I was getting were less than that. <laughs> So the gas fees were more than my rewards. So I couldn't claim my rewards. Uh, if I wanted to mint uh, some USD, basically the uh, amount of USD that I could mint, about half the fees, uh, fees would be half the price of that. So I could only do half. And then if I wanted to take that USD and use it on the exchange, I didn't even get that far. I'm guessing it probably would have cost me another $50. So that means on Synthetics Network, it would have cost me around about 150, a little bit less, but 150 Australian dollars to claim my rewards, mint some USD, and then to make one simple trade on the uh, on the Synthetics Exchange. I love Synthetics Network. I love what they're about. I, you know, I was so glad to you know get in at a good price, and you know, I've made some really good profit. But now. I can't use the platform and I can't even use the coins. There's nothing I can do with them. I'm going to have to wait until, you know, either some scaling solutions come along or I just get to a point where uh, I may as well just cash them in completely and just kind of take the money. And now, unfortunately, it's going to be the same with Ethereum. I can't really do anything with Ethereum at the moment. The gas prices are so high. Now, the gas prices aren't as high just using Ethereum by itself. Synthetics Network, uh, because it's one of the, you know, it's one of the places that's chewing up uh, the most amount of ETH at the moment. That's why the gas prices are so high. But I did go over to uh, Kyber.org today. Uh, I staked my uh, Kyber there, and it was eleven dollars fifty-seven, I think, uh, Australian, to vote because I had to vote. So it cost me eleven dollars fifty-seven to do that. And then to collect my rewards for the last epoch, I think it cost me $5.40 something. So it was nearly $6. So all up to vote and collect my rewards uh, from uh, Kyber Network, it cost me around about $17. Ethereum, I think you're in real trouble. And Synthetics Network, you're definitely in real trouble. Now, don't get me wrong. All the big players will be able to play. Uh, and it's not like they won't be able to make any money. They will. But forget mass adoption. It, it's not going to happen. No person, no regular person, and I am a regular person. I'm anything but rich. I'm not poor. Don't get me wrong. 
but I live week to week like most people. I've got enough money to get by and you know, enough money to buy a few things here and there, but I'm anything but rich. I can't use Ethereum. It's no good to me. It, it costs too much money. If it's going to cost me $11 you know, dollars to $17 to just do minor little transactions, I can't use it. Synthetics Network. I definitely can't use it. I do not have $150 to do, again, mint some USD, claim my rewards, and then do one simple little trade uh, on your exchange. Scaling solutions are so desperately needed for Ethereum. I am really concerned. I'm basically at the point now where all I can do with uh, Synthetics Network uh, and Ethereum, because I can't stake Synthetic Network anymore, it's, it's basically stuck there. I, I can't afford to mint the USD. Uh, and if you can't claim your rewards, then they just go back into the pool. So I've lost a week of rewards. There's uh, my week of rewards gone right there. Uh, and the prices are only going to get worse. They're not going to get better. Everyone knows that. So that means I won't be able to uh, stake Synthetic Networks uh, anymore. Now I did read a tweet a while ago that Synthetics Network said they are going to roll out uh, a solution hopefully in the next few months. They were thinking about the next three to six months or beyond. Uh, they've used it on their testnet. Uh, I don't have the article in front of me. Uh, it was on Twitter. But I really hope it happens soon. I really don't want to have to just basically send all my synthetics network and my Ethereum back to the exchange and just cash it in. Because at the moment, I can't do anything with it. And if I can't do anything with it, basically most people can't do anything with it other than the rich, other than corpor corporations and whales and things like that. They could afford it. No one else can. There's not a chance in hell. And I'm, I can't tell you how disappointed I am. Synthetics network is my best performer my absolute best performer. I'm up hundreds of percent on Synthetics Network, but now I just can't use it. There's nothing I can do. Now I can't continue to stake. I can't get the rewards. Uh, you know, It's basically gonna cost me probably $50 to take everything off Synthetics Network and send it back to uh, the exchange or you know wherever I decide to sell it, uh, send it. And that's disappointing. So it's at $7 now. So that's probably about, I don't know, $8 Australian, and it's gonna cost me $50 uh, to get it off. I'm gonna lose a few synthetics right there. Uh, and again, same thing with Ethereum. You know, I, I really am worried, and I hope some scaling solutions come out really, really fast. ETH 2.0 can't happen fast enough, but I really hope that they focus more on scaling than you know worrying about the staking. Staking is gonna be great, don't get me wrong. I'm sure it's gonna be great, but it's only going to be great for the rich and corporations. No average person is going to be able to use Ethereum. They just can't. Not if it's gonna cost them $5, $6 uh, to do something, and particularly not if it's gonna cost them $40, $50, or $100. That, that, you know, again, Synthetics Network to do, you know, basically one sort of simple thing, $150 worth, that's a third of an ETH. A third of an ETH right there, just gone to do, you know, one little thing. I don't know if anyone from Ethereum or Synthetics Network is gonna watch this video, but I'm just letting you know, I am the average Joe. I am the normal person, I'm the regular guy. I can't use you. I'm probably gonna to have to sell uh, your coins and I'm disappointed in that because I wanna stick with the program. I believe in it, uh, you know, it's done so well. Ethereum, uh, yeah, like I said, the, the good thing is that they're both pumping. The prices of them just keep getting higher and higher but I can't use them. Really, all I can do is just now sit on them and at some stage hope that, you know, it doesn't cost me one Ethereum to send an Ethereum and I can get them back to the exchange and sell them. And that's disappointing if that's all I'm gonna be able to do with them. We can go over to here and we look at the gas station. Now this has come down. This was up around the two, 300 uh, mark uh, just the other day. So gas prices have come down, but still even 100. That is, it, it's way too much. Again, the average person just cannot use Ethereum uh, at, at the moment. It's yeah, it's beyond the average person's reach. So forget mass adoption; that will not happen. And, and that's what Ethereum really needs. If they want to, you know, become this behemoth, then they need to make it so it's cheap enough for the average person to use it. Uh, you know, where fees cost a couple of cents, maybe a dollar. You know, we could possibly put up with a dollar for fees, but yeah, not dollars not ten dollars not eleven dollars not seventeen dollars and definitely not a couple of hundred dollars that is way too much 
Anyway, I don't want to yabber on too long. That's basically uh, my vlog for today. You know, the upside is the prices of both of those are going up. The downside is I can't use them. I literally can't do anything with them. They are no good to me. Uh, and I'm really praying that I don't just have to send them back to the exchange and sell them. That will be super disappointing for me. But anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train. And I'll see you next time.